afternoon, good morning, good evening. Regardless of where you are or depending on which part of the world you are, I am back again today to share with you on this podcast what happens, five things that happen when you don't pray. Five things that happen when you don't pray. And these podcasts are shared in live transformational messages or transforming messages in the playlist on my YouTube account. Please don't listen to one. Go to my YouTube and listen to the rest of the messages. Nonetheless, we are here. And um, by the grace of God, I want to share with you things from my spirit on what happens, five things. They are not absolute, but five liberatory things I have that are definitive nonetheless that happens to you when you don't pray. Number one, uh, in Luke chapter 18 verse 1, the Bible says men, which means men and women, because men before God is a spirit, ought always to pray and not faint. Men ought always to pray and not faint. In Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10, the Bible says, He or she who faints in the day of adversity is of weak strength. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3, the Bible says, Endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ. Remember in Luke 18, 1, men ought always to pray and not faint. Proverbs 24 verse 10, he who faints in the day of adversity or he who faints in spiritual matters is weak. Second Timothy 3, 2 verse 3, endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. So number one, when you don't pray, you are too weak to be called a Christian. You are too weak in the spiritual realm to be contended by spirit. And you are living a fainted life because you are not a threat to Satan or his kingdom. You are passive in the spirit. The Bible calls you weak. And if you don't endure hardness in prayer, the Bible calls you a bad soldier of Christ in reverse. And if you're not praying, you're not mature. He's not saying boys and girls. He said men, which is men and women. So anyone who is not praying is not even a woman in the spirit. You're just a creature that is female. If you're not praying, you're not even a man, a male man. You are just a creature that looks like SpongeBob. No prayer, no strength. So prayer is not must with strength. To endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ, you need to pray. You don't pray, you don't have strength. Number two, in Psalm 66 verse 20, the Bible says, Blessed be God, who does not turn away from my prayer, nor cast me away from his mercy. If you don't pray, God is away from you. But when you pray, God is closer to you in context of scripture. Because truth is progressive and gradual and always, always shifting depending on context. So in this context, if you don't pray, Psalm 66 verse 20, God in person, in the physical, in the the figurative form is away from you. It may be in your heart but far off from you. Pastor, I don't understand. Haven't you sat with a person that whose body is near you but his heart is far from you? So God's presence can be with you but his heart may not be with you when you don't pray. Lack of prayer reduces presence of God on your life. But when you pray, presence of God increases over your life. The reason why you feel like evil is prevalent as a presence over your life 
is because you don't pray. Mm -hmm. Number three, Matthew 6, 5a. Jesus said, when you pray. Matthew 6a. Jesus said, when you pray. Matthew 7a. Jesus said, when you pray. Matthew 9a. He says, now do this. When you pray, our Father. So prayer is not a suggestion. Prayer is not a passive statement. It's an active statement. This is a command. Prayer is not an imagination. Prayer is not an activity. It can assume all those forms. But that is not its original form. Prayer is not a desire. Prayer is a command. Prayer is a commandment. It's a commandment that brings in communion and union between a creature and the creator. It's a high transmission power line that connects your soul to the creator. Prayer is that heavy security kingdom door that opens to the storehouse of God. Prayer is the safe house of heaven that your prayer is the key that opens it. So prayer is life. I can teach prayer different formats. Prayer is the womb that gives life to all your prayers. Prayer is the meal that satisfies all your desires. Prayer is the garment that when you put on, you don't need another garment. It's a coat of many colors. Prayer is a blessing upon you that passes all blessings. So when you don't pray, you are in absolute disobedience to the commands and the instructions of Christ. Prayer is an instruction before it's a discipline, before it's an activity, before it's a sacrifice. You are a contrast to life of Jesus himself who was an example of prayer when you don't pray. So you call yourself a Christian but a contradiction to the person you believe in. <laughs> Number four. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, the Bible says, I wish that you would offer supplication, all prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving for all mankind, first to those that are in authority so that you may live a peaceable life and in honesty, and that all may be well. Verse 3, it says, this is God's acceptable will. So when you don't pray, you don't love being honest. When you don't pray, you don't love living a peaceable life with authorities in your environment. Satanic authorities, you overpower them by prayer. Human authorities, you control them by prayer. So you don't love living a honest life. You don't love living peaceful because you don't like praying. Then on the same one, you hate the will of God. That is acceptable because God says it's acceptable. All prayer, all supplication, all intercessions and thanksgiving be offered. In the hammery of God in Ephesians 6, starting from 10 to 18, he says, above all, pray with all forms of prayer. Because prayer is the most potent weapon in the school of attacking the devil. You say, Pastor, faith. Faith is a shield. The word of God is the sword of the spirit. But the hand that throws the sword of the spirit in the spirit is prayer. Most of you have the word of God. But you cannot throw the word of God against the enemy. It's the sword of the spirit. You cannot. You don't have enough energy to throw the sword. Prayer now comes and arms all those six or whatever number of equipment you'll have in the spirit. Prayer is the arm that is as, as got muscle to throw the sword of the word of God against adversity. Many of us with so much word yet no strength. Because without prayer you are weak. No matter how much word you know. Number five and I close. Philippians 4 verse 6. The Bible says don't be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication so anxiety will always be your best friend if you don't pray hypertension, BP hastiness 
tuwe mboksa mwa because you don't like praying don't be anxious but in everything by prayer supplication and thanksgiving it's a repeated format so prayer gives you the ability to lessen anxiety in a sense it brings in sense of stability mentally and sense of stability heartily you become a stable soul a stable human being because prayer is offered for you or you offer prayer when you don't pray you become a nervous jerk <laughs> i know it sounds hard but jerk means a confused person please read it when you don't pray you become ungrateful and one with a terrible spirit to associate with you become less spiritual but very manipulative because you become emotional and manipulative normally lying has to be in line with anxiety people who are anxious and hasty can never avoid lying you can't avoid being deceptive if you're too hasty you can't ignore that you can't survive that your zeal for the lord grows colder and colder and you become frozen and when you become frozen you are dead it's not just fire that kills every time you are throwing fire at satan why don't you throw ice on him as well because when a person freezes the body becomes immobile actually you die quicker by freezing than fire because freezing immediately freezes you and everything stops functioning so when you don't pray you are freezing and you are almost dying in the spirit you are an ice statue but in the body you walk a contradiction to anything divine and you next Thursday same time if this has blessed you right now begin to pray and share shalom